Have you ever disliked someone so strongly that even the mention of their name has made you want to cry from rage? No? Well get ready, because you're about to experience it. That's right, today we're talking about the bowler hat guy from Meet the Robins- Oh, no, sorry, no. We're talking about Russell Brandt- who is that? Oh, a comedian- sorry. <laughs> the two just look really similar, I got confused. Hello, <laughs> welcome to Information Overload. I'm V, and today we're going through the top 10 dark secrets Russell Brand tried to hide. Number 10, love him or hate him, he's there. From the very beginning of Russell Brand's career, opinions on him have always laid on polar opposite sides of the spectrum. Some people absolutely adored Brand, while others loathed the man and found him irritating and offensive. I'm almost certain I could pinpoint a person on either side just by their appearance. His career broke out in the mid 2000s when when he hosted Big Brother's Big Mouth, a companion show to the extremely popular Big Brother. In this show, Brand would interact with guest stars and review the latest events of what was going on in the Big Brother house. Because of this show, Brand went from being a small comic in a vast ocean to one of the most sought after talents in the UK. And the controversy surrounding his personality only added to his success. He began to star in shows and movies, making himself a name worldwide. I mean, not a recognizable name, but yeah, a name nonetheless. Number 9. Married to Perry Katy Perry and Russell Brand were married. I know. But thankfully, for all of the Katy Cats out there, they divorced only two years later. The relationship was ended by Brand over text. Yes. He divorced her by text. The pair first met in 2008 at the MTV VMA ceremony, but began their relationship a short while after. In an interview for Vogue in 2013, Perry revealed her thoughts on Brand's humor, saying, Hysterical in some ways, but he started making jokes about me and he didn't know I was in the audience because I had come to surprise him at one of his shows. She began to further delve into the relationship, saying, At first when I met him, he wanted an equal, and I think a lot of times strong men do want an equal, but then they get that equal and they're like, I can't handle the equalness. He didn't like the atmosphere of me being the boss on tour, so that was really hurtful. And it was very controlling, which was upsetting. Brand has still not taken any responsibility for the way that he acted in the marriage. Instead, he claimed that he met Perry during a chaotic time in his life. So yeah, no responsibility taken whatsoever. Number 8. Fired. Reading this one, actually made my jaw drop. I'm sure everyone is aware of the heartbreaking attack that occurred in New York on September 11th, 2001. And I'm sure everyone at the time understood how devastating, heartbreaking, and terrifying that event was, and how large of an impact it had on people worldwide. No, sorry, not everyone understood, or I guess cared, because Russell Brand decided it would be a great idea to walk into work on September 12, 2001, yes, a single day later, dressed as those the founder of Al Qaeda. He has since spoken out in remorse over the incident, but prior to his explanation, he reminded everyone that he was heavily abusing illicit substances at the time of the event. Now, before I talk about this, remember, I was on drugs, Chelsea, and I challenge any of you to take drugs and see how it affects your personal, private, and professional life. But here's the thing I know a lot of people who are fighting substance abuse, and they didn't dress up as a terrorist the day after a terrorist attack. Heck, they never even dressed up as a terrorist. And I guess he apologized, but it didn't seem like he was taking any actual responsibility for his actions or like he actually understood why people were upset. When explaining his sense of remorse and accepting responsibility, he said, quote, now I know the worst time to do it in many ways. Any time is the worst time to do it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Number seven, refusal to vote. Russell Brand has also received backlash for his concerning stance on politics. During an interview for a left-leaning magazine, Russell Brand informed the interviewer that he did not vote quote, out of wariness and exhaustion from the lies, treachery, and deceit of the political class that has been going on for generations. He went on to encourage citizens to abstain from voting as well. Listen, whatever side of the political spectrum you're on, you should still vote. It's your right and honestly your duty, unless it's not my side. Then disregard what I said, please. Number six, 2006 allegation of Danny Minogue. In a 2006 tabloid interview, Danny Minogue, an Australian actor and singer, accused Brand of harassment after she made an appearance on his show. She said that throughout the whole interview, he kept making shocking remarks that even I can't repeat and that he wouldn't take no for an answer. Gross. She described Brand as a bit of a vile predator. Yeah, well guys, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I don't think he's a little bit of a predator. I think he's a lot of bit of a predator. 
The way he was acting towards Danny becomes even more concerning when you realize that was him on camera, surrounded by a bunch of people talking to an established woman. If you take away those three things one by one, it seems that Brand's behavior would only become more upsetting as obstacles were moved out of his way. Disgusting. Number five, 2008 Saxgate. On October 18th, 2008 on Brand's show, Jonathan Ross and Russell Brand participated in a series of suggestive, lewd, and downright disgusting messages, which were left on the answering machine of 78-year-old actor Andrew Sachs. These messages included Ross saying, he bleeped your granddaughter, referring to a relationship that Brand had had with Georgina Bailey, Andrew's granddaughter. Yeah, so this show was aired, but no, not live, it was pre-recorded. That all could have been cut out or edited, but for some reason, no, I know the reason, the show was aired. Over 40,000 people reported the program, calling it grossly offensive, true, and the corporation was fined 150,000 pounds. Brand resigned, Ross was suspended from the BBC for 12 weeks, and the radio controller, Leslie Douglas, retired. The BBC Trust added on, stating the calls were a deplorable intrusion with no editorial justification and they were totally correct. Number four, cracking jokes in select committee. In 2012, Russell Brand attended a home affairs select committee hearing to discuss drug and alcohol addictions. Russell Brand has been a huge advocate for those struggling with substance use, but in this hearing, he was not displaying a large amount of care, respect, or concern towards the topic. He was cracking jokes throughout the hearing to the point where one MP had to tell him that the session was not a variety show. When Brand was told that he was running out of time, he remarked, time is infinite. Girl, what? This man is actually infuriating. To be invited onto a panel to discuss a topic that you have dedicated so much time to supporting and assisting in just to make a mockery is so insulting and I'm sure embarrassing for whoever invited him. Just a really immature move on Brand's part. Some have mentioned that he may have been uncomfortable and was trying to make jokes to ease the tension, but this is a serious topic. There should be tension. And he had comfortably spoken about it in the past, so I'm not too inclined to believe that he was being anything but but an immature attention seeker. Sorry, not sorry. Number three, award for most obnoxious goes to... At several awards shows, Brand has created chaos within the live broadcast. At the NME Awards in 2006, Bob Godolf insulted Brand, who responded in an offensive fashion, stating, the musician and campaigner was only an expert on famine because he had been dining out on I Don't Like Mondays for 30 years. In 2008, while hosting the MTV Music Awards, Brand told the American audience that their then current president, George Bush, quote, wouldn't even be trusted with scissors, end quote, in the UK. In 2013, he was ejected from the GQ Awards after criticizing the event sponsor, Hugo Boss, for having previously manufactured uniforms for German soldiers in World War II. I mean, this one I can't really be mad at him for. It's a fair criticism. The fact that he wasn't able to remain professional in front of a live audience is insane to me. He claims to be an actor, but he couldn't pretend to be a decent man for like four hours. I mean, he does play the same role in every movie, you know, like a pretentious, self-obsessed, misogyn... Wait a minute. No, that's just him. I don't think he's ever acted a day in his life. Number two, conspiracies. Listen, I'm all for conspiracies, but what I'm not for is false information that can really damage people mentally and physically. In 2020, Brand decided that he was going to speak out against a disease and spread false, not backed by science information on his YouTube channel. His videos consisted of him sitting and talking into a camera, challenging mainstream information that the government was apparently feeding us. He also established himself as a wellness guru, which, okay, I mean, you do you, but it's giving more creepy cult leader than namaste peace life coach when it's coming from brand. Some of his videos received a lot of attention and they only made his social platforms grow in size, despite the concerning content of his videos. Some of the video titles included, did these emails prove Biden is corrupt and lying? What really started the Hawaii fires? And this is how gender norms are affecting men. Yes, Russell Brand, I would love to hear your thoughts on how gender norms are affecting men. Also curious as to who is creating these norms. I'm gonna give you a hint, it's not women. These titles only further display the ignorance and enlarged ego that this man has. Some people, and by some people I mean myself, look at him and see a raging narcissist who truthfully believes he can do no wrong and that he's smarter than everyone else in the entire world. Number one. 
allegations. I am going to be providing a disclaimer for our last point. There are mentions of harassment, SA, domestic violence, grooming, and psychological violence. I'm also required to say that everything reported so far is alleged. Russell Brand has recently been accused of several counts of SA by four different women from 2006 to 2013. The first allegation is from a woman who dated Brand for three months in 2006. The woman was in secondary school at the time while Brand was hosting his Big Brother show and 30 years old. She claims that Brand SA'd her several times over the duration of their relationship. She described Brand as controlling, manipulative, and emotionally damaging. She recalled that Brand would give her scripts to deceive her parents with. He told her to save his name in her phone as Kathy to avoid suspicion. She was also told to hide the relationship from friends and family, which Kathy later described as an isolating experience. The next allegation comes from Jordan Martin, reporting that Brand had been physically violent towards her and SA'd her multiple times over the span of their six month relationship. After finding out that Jordan had spoken to an ex-boyfriend, Brand took her phone and ripped it apart, removing the battery. He then touched her inappropriately. Jordan was not ready for this intrusion and recalls the whole event as extremely unpresent. The same month Brand filed for divorce to Katy Perry, he allegedly essayed a woman in his own home. He blocked her exit and refused to allow her to leave. After the incident, Brand texted her that he was sorry and described his behavior as crazy and selfish. The same day as the attack, the woman went to a center where she had therapy treatment for five months. At the time, she considered taking legal action but ultimately decided against it. The final allegation comes from a woman claiming that these events took place in 2013. She reported that she and Brand met at an AA meeting and then the two started working together shortly after. On one occasion at Brand's house, he attempted to force her into act but eventually got angry at her refusal and shouted at her that she was fired. She mentions that someone who had been working in the house at the time of the incident apologized for not helping her, saying that they were all so scared of him. She never reported the incident out of fear for what it may do to her career. In response, Brand has denied all allegations, saying that they're money grabs and coordinated attacks Acts against him. He claims that all of his relationships had been consensual. He also said, Admits this litany of astonishing, rather baroque attacks are some very serious allegations that I absolutely refute. I'm sorry, what? Brand. Throwing out a jumble of big words doesn't mean you're smart, and it definitely doesn't mean you're right. It honestly just makes you sound dumb. If you were really innocent, you wouldn't need a garble of words to say the simple sentence, I'm not guilty. That brings us to the end of our list. Russell Brand has absolutely made a name for himself, and I hope the next place I see that name is on a board placed in his hands as he takes his mugshot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, but most importantly, I hope you learned something. See you around, and remember to stay curious.